हेलो एवरीवन आई मिस पूजा पटले असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर तुलसीराम जी गायकवाड़ पाटिल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग नागपुर इन टुडे सेशन विल सी अबाउट डी बगिंग इन सॉफ्टवेयर इन सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग एंड क्वालिटी अश्योरेंस सब्जेक्ट डी बगिंग इज वन ऑफ द टॉपिक and how it works what does mean by debugging we'll see in this session so debugging is finding and solving problems in software whatever the problems come up with the software while testing so finding and solving these problems in the software is known as debugging the programmer after a program failure identifies the corresponding fault and fixes it the process of determining the cause of failure is known as debugging what is the cause of failure why the software fails what is the reason behind that so the process of determining the cause of the failure is known as debugging debugging occurs as a consequence of a test revealing a failure mayors proposed three approaches to debugging so what is debugging bug and debugging are attributed to a discovery of a moth found in mark 2 computer at harvard university debugging is not troubleshooting these are the debugging rules as you can see here the first one is understand the system then make it fail third one is quit thinking and look fourth divide and conquer fifth change one thing at a time sixth one is to keep an audit trail seventh one is check the plug eighth one is get a fresh view and the ninth one is if you didn't fix it so these are the debugging rules debugging is a simple method from starting to end from start to end the first one a method consist of the following steps like first to start then another one is construct a hypothesis then construct an experiment hypothesis proves go to b and need more evidence go to c and then it will stop so this is the very simple method of debugging now we'll see each and every rule in detail and the procedure so that will you will understand the main method of debugging so understanding the system how we'll understand the system know the fundamentals of the system understand the frameworks involved read the apis and communication interfaces know your tools understand what each module of system does so first we'll know the fundamentals of the system on which the system works then understand the framework involved which are the frameworks involved in the system read the api and communication interfaces know your tools which are the tools we are using for debugging 
understand what each module of the system does so analyzing understanding the system is a basic key basic method for debugging the second one is make it fail now start at the beginning automate the failure no detail is insignificant intermittent failures isolate the failure and build debugging tools and test harshness quit thinking and look as a third step where we gather the low level details and see the failure understand the context of the bug design instrumentation in instrumentation in runtime statistics which are the instrument will use in runtime the status messages debug logging be descriptive deployment time environment checks hypothesis and test so a programmer or a tester should think about these points so that it will understand the context of the bug fourth one is divide and conquer narrow the search down software and hardware successive approximation start at the bad end example the error log and walk your way up the chain looking at the various points on the way now fix the bugs you know about fixing one could fix the other fix the noise first but don't go nuts so this is the divide and conquer method another step is change one thing at a time so for that compare with a good one use a rifle not a shotgun what's changed recently it used to work then separate environment and product now keep an audit trail it is the sixth step keep a day book of what you did during debugging write down what you did in what order and what happened so what you are you are doing in what order you are doing that thing and what happened during doing this so these all the one should write down be specific and consistent correlate symptoms with others version control and change logs are great for determining and a method changed then check the plug here question your assumption get a fresh view get another view point on the solution talk to somebody about the problem ask an expert about e ask an expert what email the author check the forums subscribe to the mailing list make sure you report symptoms not queries and the ninth one if you didn't fix it it ain't fixed the most important lesson by far fix the root cause make sure it can't possibly happen again fix the process at fault we didn't see an issue until we deployed into the production environment so while using the system by user and uh, he came up with the errors or faults so at that time we didn't see an issue until the deployed into the production environment so that the faults should get fixed at early stage before launching the software
and now here are some debugging methods and tools in debugging methods print trace debugging watching the flow of execution after adding print statements to the original code remote debugging connect to a remote system with a with a debugger monitor the execution and state post mortem debugging where analysis of a memory dump from a program that has crashed and then profiling not debugging per but a useful technique for analyzing a running program to look for issues so this is all about debugging process what is it it is the finding and solving the problems in software so that's how debugging works these are some methods we learned from this session so the programmer after a program failure identifies the corresponding fault and fixes it so the process of determining the cause of failure is known as debugging debugging occurs as a consequence of test revealing a failure mears proposed of debugging so this is the concept of debugging i hope you all are understood thank you so much